So here we have both of the completed sets. We have 6040, the blacksmith shop here, and we have on this side, the armor shop 6041. Now, I would like to say that these are two civilian-based sets. I know that there are some knights or soldiers in them, but these show some of the civilian side of medieval life. And I think that's an important part to these sets because after the initial wave of sets in the 1980s, LEGO kind of pulled away from doing a lot of civilian-based sets. When they rebooted Castle in the 2000s and 2007, they didn't have a whole lot of civilian-themed theme sets until the Kingdoms wave that came out in the early 2010s. They had a blacksmith shop, a very small one for that, and they had a farm mill raid set that came out that was really great. And of course, this year we have the idea set, the medieval blacksmith shop. So having two civilian sets, or even more, is an important part to putting together a nice castle uh, arrangement. Now, this set right here I'm going to talk about first individually. And the blacksmith shop, as you can see, is on a slightly different footprint than the armor shop. This one uses a 6x12 green plate with a 2x3 extension, so it's 15 studs long. And one of the advantages of that is, if you can see, on the back side here, you can use three of the uh, five width panel, uh, window panels that they use for a lot of castle sets. But one of the other nice things about this set is the furnace, which has a lot of these red slopes, which if you're building some sort of tower and you wanted to build the roof for that tower, these red slopes come in handy. It also comes with a pitchfork, which uh, came in quite a few sets in the castle era but um, not a ton and so it's nice to have some pitchforks there. It comes with some wagon wheels in addition to a horse and a nice um, piece that connects your horse to a wagon and it has this turntable plate in it which allows it to move and steer. So I think that's really useful to come with it. Also, you might have noticed that in the speed build, there was an alternate build that came with the instructions. So having this set um, come with that alternate build allowed you to make a cart and a little tower. Now, of course, I think the actual set is far superior in terms of just the overall appearance and the way that the pieces were used, and that shouldn't be a surprise because that's what the set was designed for. In terms of minifigs, I want to point out that it comes with one of these soldiers right here that has the crossed axes on it, which is a nice torso. But the key minifig, I think, for a lot of people is the blacksmith himself. Now, I am missing one piece from the set, and it is probably the most important one or the most iconic one from the set. It is a brown apron. It's a plastic piece that the 80s castle sets came with capes, and this is just used as a an apron in this particular set. And the only set that had a brown one was this one. Now, I tried to order this years ago, and I actually looked at BrickLink a couple of days ago to try to see how much it would cost. There weren't any available in the United States on BrickLink, uh, and so it's really a hard piece for us here in the States to get a hold of. So I don't have that one uh, for this particular set, but the minifig is kind of one of the more iconic civilian ones from the mid-1980s castle line. Moving on to the armor shop, uh, this one I think is my favorite of the two. While the blacksmith shop used very conventional building techniques and really was kind of a wall panel with some battlements on it, this one uses I think some nice architectural details. You can see that on the side profiles because we have these circles and the arches here along with kind of the asymmetrical build on each of the sides which I think was a lot of fun. It also uses these roof panels on uh, the red roof panels at the top to give a little bit more detail and it has a little bit more room here on the top with the battlements. This one has a 6x12 plate so it's on a slightly smaller footprint than the blacksmith shop but I want to highlight a couple of other important features to this. To account for 12 width of studs they use two of the 1x5 wall panels and they use a couple of 1x2 bricks and on the inside, they use some clips to allow us to 
attach various weapons, which of course makes sense for an armor shop. This set also comes with this armor and weapon stand right here, which is a great aspect of the set. Uh, in the 1980s, getting these extra helmets, the extra weapons, and of course the extra shields, I think was really a key part of the set. One that, when I was looking through the catalogs when I was a kid, made me really want it. It comes with this knight, which is fully decked out. He's got a sword here, a nice shield. Uh, he's got the red cape, so the back armor, as we called it when we were kids, uh, and the horse. But it also comes with two other really important accessories that I think make this set special. The first is a black sword right here, and this was the only set that came with the black short sword. All of the other castle sets in the era came with dark gray short swords. This one is black. Now, I bought that piece off of Bricklink over a dozen years ago, and I spent about $5 on it, but I was looking at Bricklink earlier uh, this week to see how much it would go for now, and it goes in good condition from the United States around $15 for that one small piece. So it's a rare piece, and it's one that's kind of fun to have in your collection, but certainly not one that you just want to store away and never use. So that's one reason why it's out here. The second piece that I think is really special for this is this flag right here. It has the uh, lion on it, and uh, it's very difficult to find these that have good printing still and have both of their clips intact. This one, unfortunately, has both of its clips broken, so you can't really affix it to the lance that it's supposed to be on unless you glue it on there, which uh, I did before, but my kids were playing with it and it kind of came off, so I'm going to have to glue it back on. It's a really rare piece. It only came in this particular set, and I think highlights just how uh, unique this set, the Armor Shop, was for its time. Overall, I think these were great sets, and they were two sets that made up a larger build of modular castle sets from the 1980s. I really enjoyed putting these together. In fact, I think it's been a long time, at least a decade since I put these together, and I thought it was a lot of fun, especially this one. I thought it was an interesting build. It had some unique features to it, some great accessories, and I know in watching my kids play with it over the last few days, has really been fun because they've gotten really into the castle world and playing with the knights and the blacksmith and trying to figure out where everything would go and attaching it to the Black Falcon's fortress and it's been a lot of fun seeing that come back to life. Now check out some future videos. We're going to be building some more of these old school castle sets. Comment on which one of the old school castle sets were your favorite as you were growing up, or if you aren't familiar with them, check out some of those sets on Bricklink or on ClassicCastle.com and comment below which ones you think were the best ones of that particular era. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and always remember, keep building together.